Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to Dr. Muhammad Agus Salim Nasi, lecturer MAT 491 Calculus String. We are group 2 from CS 2422B. Today, me, Siti Mashita Binti Kusmidi and another two members, Muhammad Ama bin Roslan and Muhammad Shazwan bin Kori, are going to present our group assignment project entitled Candle Combustion. We have divided our presentation into six main parts, which are introduction, objectives, material, procedure, observation, and lastly conclusion. I'll start off with introduction part. The main purpose of this assignment is to find parametric equations. In order to obtain the parametric equation, we've conducted an experiment of candle combustion. We chose this experiment because it is simple and low risk since we are not able to use any lab due to MCO. And from the experiment, we collected two different variables which are height in cm and weight in gram based on seven time intervals. And from the data we collected, we then plot the graph and obtain the parametric equation. Now, we move to materials and procedure part. The materials that we use for this experiment is a kitchen scale, a candle, a lighter, a stopwatch, and a ruler. Before we run our experiment, we must find a suitable place that will not bother our experiment to avoid error. There are 6 steps to run our experiment. Firstly, prepare all materials that we want to use, like candle, a lighter, a ruler, and a kitchen scale. Next, we measure the length of the candle by using a ruler. Step 3. Measure weight of the candle by using a kitchen scale. Step 4. Burn the candle by using a lighter and place it on a suitable place. Step 5. Blow out the candle after 5 minutes. Then, measure the length and the weight of the candle. And for the last step, Record all the data collected and then repeat from the step 2 until step 5 until we get several record of measurement. Next, we move to observation and results. So, this is the result we got. And then this is the graph for mass versus time. This is the the one with length versus time. And also this is our Cartesian graph. From the graph we can identify our parametric equations. And this is how we calculate our Cartesian equation. And this is how we find our tangent. Finally, what can we conclude from this is there is a negative relationship between time and the mass or length of the candle. Secondly, we can find the parametric and Cartesian equation from this experiment. And third, we can make a graph from the data we gain from our experiment. And lastly, we can also calculate our tangent of the equation. That's all from us. Thank you.